So the college tour has just finished and we're about to go home. Um, so let me take this moment to explain more about the um, grand ceremony um, while it's still fresh in my mem uh, memory because the trip home is going to be like four hours but when we came here it took like six hours so I predict that when we get home it's going to be like six or seven especially with all that traffic in New York. So the speaker, um, she clarifies more about the grand ceremony, but in essence, um, it's just about honoring the top of the top who in, like, globally, who have taken tests like the ACTs, the SATs, um, uh, I think it's called the SVTs or something. Uh, but in my case, I took the SCATs, were, which were the school and college ability testing. And uh, according to what they say, you have to get a 99 percentile in either math or reading to uh, qualify. And I got 99 percentile in math, so I qualified. Um, funny story, uh, Zami here, he took the SATs. Uh, he got a perfect score in math, but we didn't send it in because we didn't know much about this. Um, so to actually be eligible for um, the grand ceremony, you need to get um, the top 3% tile in the test. Um, if you get top 30, you'll get only an, uh, an original award, which in my case, I'll be getting it next year in spring at Yale. Um, in, my, in my case, I got the top with a 99% tile in my grade, which was 6th. Um, and there is no 6th grade test, there's only 7th and 8th. And in order for them to log, you have to take the test be before June if you want it to be your grade. And after that, it's the next grade. So, I got 99 percentile, which means I'm either the top or I tied with someone else. Because 99 percentile is the max that you can get. So um, it's a bit complicated and not even I understand it a bit, uh, most of it I do understand. So you might want to check the John Hopkins website, um, I think I'll put it in the description below. Um, but the lesson is, it's not about the award that we get, it's about teaching you about humility, it's about teaching you about modesty. Um, as one of the speakers said, um, when you're in school when you're in your class or when you're at home you may be the smartest uh, around your peers however when you enter uh, the ceremony you're not the smartest you're surrounded by peers who are as equally uh, or around your uh, skill level and that's why um, it's important to be humble so because there you can't always be the smartest person in the room and that's the most important lesson uh, that that should be taught. So now it's the end of the video. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, the clips. So my dad's going to compile some clips and condense it into a short version uh, so that you can get a, a basic overview. However, he's just in, in another video. He's gonna just dump all. <laughs> like the whole load of it so that for those who didn't get to experience it, they can experience fully through the video. Um, and then also there is this thing about this. Um, I recommend for anyone, uh, if you want to, you should encourage your parents. You should talk to your parents about uh, uh, doing the, the test so that you can be eligible for this. Um, uh, you know, it costs a little bit of money, but there's always financial aid. Um, especially if you're in the U.S., um, there's a scholarship that you can probably get to help you that way. However, if you're out of the U.S., um, good luck. I just want to emphasize that it is worth the money, though, because you learn a lot in the process. So, here's the end. I'm Ayman. Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos. And I and Ayman. Um, I don't... Usually I call myself a um, trainer or gardener, but there's nothing I can say, so I'll just say scholar, I'm on, signing out. Peace.